In this video, I want to install Hestia CP. You have watched the previous videos how I was setting up Ubuntu to run Hestia CP. If you want to use Debian, you can look at the playlist for Debian. I will add the videos for Debian if you want to use Debian. Just watch the previous videos and you're going to see how to set up your server before installing Hestia CP. Hestia CP is a free control panel. So you're wondering why I'm here on why I'm here on Cloudflare. So I'm going to be using Cloudflare for my DNS records. So if you want to use Cloudflare, just log into Cloudflare, add your domain, and then you go into DNS and you can change the DNS records there. So I'm just going to click here because I want to edit this. I will be installing Hestia CP in this subdomain. And in the last video, you saw how to how to change your server host name. Host name. Make sure your server host name is the same as the domain or the subdomain where you want to install Hestia CP. I will have to change these records. First of all, let me add my IP address there. Paste and save. And panel one, of course, this is where I will be installing Hestia CP. So as, as of now, even if I visit this domain, it's just going to give me a Cloudflare error because there's nothing on my server. But once we install HSTCP, you're going to see it brings us something there. So let's just do this as an example. Go to JavaScript pair. You'll see it brings this error. But as soon as we have installed HSTCP, it's going to bring up Nginx as our homepage. All right, so the first part, we have set up our DNS. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, create one, add your website, and then add the A records for that. And then you can add this as the CNAME records. So of course, this would be different for you. But the first part we've done, we've added our DNS records. So even if we go to this website, once we install STSCP, there will be something there that we can see. So the next step is for us to install STSCP. So let me come in here and I will just search for a generation script. I don't want to type everything, so I'm just going to generate the script and I can search for HSTCP. So I hope when I search for this, I'm going to get I'm going to get something. So let me try this one from GitHub and see which one this is. Let's go there and see. Okay, so I can install this. So it's important to note that I will not be installing Apache. I will be using PHP, FPM, and Nginx. However, if you want to install Apache, it's okay. Nothing will change in this tutorial, even if you install Apache. But for me, I usually prefer to use Nginx and PHP, FPM. If I want to run any PHP scripts like WordPress or anything that is PHP related, I just prefer to use Nginx instead of Apache. So PHP, FPM, indeed install multi php you probably want to install multiple versions of php so if you want to run all the scripts you can choose a different version of php to run and then I'll, for this i'll use this this is just for ftp named named is used for dns so if you want to use dns on your stscp maybe you want to use your actual website as your dns provider then you need to install named and i will just install it and at some point maybe i may do a tutorial on how you can on how you can use your own websites your own domain as the as the dns providers i may do that or not mysql which database do you want to install i want to run wordpress so i'm going to use mysql and of course i need xm for for mail and you can install this i'll just leave the rest checked all this i'll just leave them checked you can also install that if you're going to host websites for other people you should probably install that I want to force it because if you don't force it, it's probably going to fail. The installation will fail and I don't want it to fail. So interactive, yes, I want it to ask me things. And then the host name, of course, I want to set a host name. And the host name, in the last video, I showed you how to change the host name on your server. So make sure that you change your server host name to the domain or the subdomain where you want to install your control panel. So I'm going to set my host name and I will set my hostname there and then the email that you want to set as the admin email add that there and then a password you can set a password or you can use the default password so just write the password that you want there and i'm just going to use a sample of and then the default language of course you can choose a different language just look at the available languages and see which one is in your domain so I'll just leave that like that and then I will proceed. 
Okay, so here's my installation script. Let's go ahead and install. So let's go back to our server. Copy it. Paste. And then enter. The script has been downloaded. The next step is for us to install everything we need for our Hestia CP. So I'm going to select that and then copy. Then I can find them there. Now, one thing I think I should change here is the port. Now, if you want to use Cloudflare, Cloudflare supports various ports, okay? So those ports, you should probably check on Cloudflare ports. Check on Google to find out the ports that are supported, okay? And you can use one of those ports on your HTCP instead of using the default. So, of course, you want to use the HTTP ports. And for this, I can just use 2053. So I'm going to come here and you can change the port there or since I already have the script, you know what, let me just change the port here. 2053. So if you want to use a Cloudflare to even access your backend, then you can do that here. And then I'm just going to proceed and I will copy this one more time. Copy and let's go back to our terminal window. And here now I have to do sudo sudo and then I will paste in my script in there and press enter and just wait okay press enter and then enter my user password my SSH user password and the next thing you have to do now is just wait. There's nothing you can do but wait. Just wait for the installation to continue. It's going to install everything it needs. HTCP is going to install everything it needs. And then once it is done, it's going to give you the access links for HTCP admin dashboard. And then after that, we'll see how we can add sites and how to use HTCP. You can see the installation of things that are going to happen. So we are going to install Nginx as a web server. And you remember I did choose, I did not choose Apache, but you can also install Apache. It will also get installed along with Nginx and you can use that as a reverse proxy. And I chose multi-PHP, bind, this is for DNS, XM is for mail, devcode is also for mail. And then MariaDB, of course, you know what that is. And then that is for FTP if you want to access FTP. And then firewall, all these are firewall and also fail to burn to limit various access options on your server would you like to continue with the installation absolutely so just type y to continue so it's going to install everything it needs okay everything that stcp needs to run is going to install it and once that is done we're going to come back and we're going to see how we can access our panel so i will see you once the installation is complete or if it asks me to do anything here. There you go. HTCP is now successfully installed on your server. If everything went okay, then you will get this message of a successful installation. So these are the access details for your server. That's the link to your server. So since I already added the site on Cloudflare, I can actually access it using my domain, using my control panel domain once I set it up on HTCP. But for now, we can just use the IP address. So admin URL, copy that. And by default, the username is admin and the password is what you set. The link and it will tell you that your connection is not private. And this is because the certificate that is being used is a self-signed certificate which is not recognized by the browser in the browser database of SSLs. So you can just click here under advanced and then you click to proceed. The username by default is admin. By default is admin. So next and then enter the password. And then log in. There you go. Now you're logged into your HTCP control panel and you can add websites and host as many websites as you want to on your control panel. So in the next video, we're going to do an overview. I'm going to do an overview of Hestia control panel just so you can get an idea of what you can do within your control panel and you can know what everything is used for within the panel. So I'm going to do that in the next video. But for now, let me just do a recap of what we've done. So in this video, we have installed HTCP. So the most important thing is for you to set up your server 
all the videos in this HTCP control panel tutorial will be in a playlist. So if you're watching this video outside of a playlist, make sure you go to the correct playlist and you watch the videos consecutively in that playlist. And I did install HTCP on Ubuntu, but you can install it on Debian as well. So if you want to use Debian, I do have another playlist that I'm going to set up with some of the old server tutorial videos and you can use that to set up your server and then finally install HTCP. And if you want to use Ubuntu, you've seen how you can set up your Ubuntu server step by step and I'm going to create that playlist as well for Ubuntu. If you want to install HTCP on Ubuntu 204, which is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu. Step by step, what you need to do, first of all, set up your server and then after that, install HTCP and you also saw how you can add your DNS records on Cloudflare. So now if we go to Cloudflare and we check this domain, you'll see that now there is something here and you can see now we have success. This is because HTTP has been installed and we can add our site. Right now we don't have any websites on the server except for, except for the main domain, the main panel. Even this, you can even use this to access your control panel so if you go to that slash 2053 since i already set up the dns records in cloudflare i should be able to so this is because we haven't added ssl for it but once we add ssl you can just click on it and it, you can generate a let's encrypt ssl and once you do that if you go to htt If you go to the HTTPS version of this website, you will be redirected to, you'll be redirected to Hestia. That's something you can do here. Once you enable SSL for this domain, it automatically took the SSL from Cloudflare. Let's look at that and you'll see it's using the SSL from Cloudflare because we set up the DNS on Cloudflare. So that's it for this video. In the next one, let's just do an overview of Hestia CP to see what each of these links, each of these tabs do. I'll see you in the next video.